Well, there it is. Hi guys, this is Witty. Welcome to a quick review of Avengers Endgame. I've just got back from the movies to see that film. It's good. That's the initial review. Definitely good. All right, thanks. I'll see you later. No, it's not quite that simple, but yeah, uh, stick around. I'll try not to really spoil anything major. I have no plans of doing that, but I might insinuate to things. Say, for example, the first half can be spoiler-free and then the other half is, you know, it's fine. I won't I won't really spoil anything major. I'll just sort of like discuss certain things that happened. So let's see. What can I talk about that isn't spoilerific? Actually quite a lot because it's not really that much of a spoilery type film. It's what you would more or less expect. The film does a great job of just tying up pretty much a lot of what they set up in previous films. There's a lot of nods to this. And you're definitely going to see those and appreciate those. I'm sure of it if you've seen any of the other films. So this is probably the sort of film you should probably watch if you've been invested into Marvel, or at least the Avengers, or even just some of the heroes. Maybe you just enjoyed the Iron Man films or the Spider-Man films, you know, Captain America films. You know, you'll definitely most likely get something out of this. What the film is, though, is it's actually more of a heist slash thriller, I think. So it's not exactly what I was expecting, but I think they went the right direction with it, wow, how they could do. So I think, yes, the characters were all good. They're all played very well, very much enjoyed each and every person, what they did and presented themselves with on the screen. I thought, uh, yeah, it was nice to show off everyone as best as they could under the circumstances, their characters, their elements, what makes them who they are, what makes them tick. There's obviously the mainer characters, such as your Iron Man, your Captain America, Bruce Banner, that sort of stuff. They obviously get a lot of screen time for. So, yeah, if you like those characters, you're going to see a lot of them during this. There's a fair bit of Guardians of the Galaxy in and out but not quite as much as you might expect. And that's, the same goes for sort of like some of the characters that may have been built up in the previous Avenger films. Um, they only seem to feature certain parts of the film and not throughout. So oh, I'm trying to think of what else I can really say other than, again, nothing I'm going to say is going to be spoilerish, but I just want to sort of say stop there. If you, know, if you are worried about anything I say that could sort of impact your viewing of it, because generally speaking, I'm going to talk about certain things that happen in the film. So, hands are in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. And there we go. That's the spoiler message, I suppose. So, again, no real spoilers. I'm not telling you what happens to any of the characters. You know, it's not really that necessary. You'll work it out yourself or you'll see it for yourself. Or someone's already spoiled it for you. So, I don't need to be the guy that does that. So, let's see. I think... The first hour of the film was very slow, okay? That's my main criticism, is it's a bit of a downer because it makes sense. Again, I can't really fault the script writing too much because they need to set everything up, even for those people that haven't even seen the previous films. But it's a downer because it's the after effects of what happened when Thanos clicked the fingers, you know? How are people doing? How are they getting along? Are they having a good time? Not really. Nah, they're actually all pretty damn depressed. So you, your first hour is like, oh, it's a bit gloomy. I mean, I get it. They can't be like, oh, it's another day in paradise because that would just be totally false and would throw you off as well. But they could have maybe spent less time focusing on the whole depression aspect of the film. It's not to say that it's not an important part of the film. It's just to say that it didn't need to be lingered on for as long as it did. There were many conversations. This is a three hour film. I think it's technically like 179 minutes, but that's three hours. Yeah. Three hours. F R E E hours. So you better prepare yourself. I did actually have to step out to go to the loo. I did actually go for, um, well, I actually, I suppose I can let you guys know. I did a 10K run, but I'm not going to tell you any more than that. But there's exercise and stuff that I'm doing currently at the moment. So I drank a lot of water this morning. I couldn't, I, I held out for as long as I could. And I was like, oh, this is agony. So yeah, I had to go at some point. So I don't think I missed anything too major. It would have only been a few minutes at most. Hopefully not. 
But um, it was more or less during the heist phase. So the first hour is like dealing with the depression and is there a solution? No, there's no solution. But perhaps there is. What if we do? And then it's like convincing the characters to get behind it. And then the second hour is when the film starts to pick up because you get into the heist aspect of it, which is pretty cool. It was like each character or, you know, a couple of them, they split off into their own little groups and they sort of like... they get their backstory that's kind of been developed in previous films more fleshed out and finished for this part as i don't i think you you probably know like it's all to do with sort of again i say it's, this is a spoiler part it's all to do with time so they're basically going back to aspects of time so yeah it's cool and they all go to their own sort of elements their own films so to speak to a degree uh, to pick up the Infinity Stones and try to get it before a fan, uh, Thanos manages. And um, yeah, it doesn't all go to plan. And that was quite cool because again, it's a long movie. You know, it's three hours long. So the two hours, the first two hours have to be something going wrong to a degree. Otherwise, you're going to have like an hour and a half like the <laughs> end of Lord of the Rings where they're all jumping up and down on the bed. But um it's it was good definitely very good uh the third hour is when it really sort of like starts to come towards its climax i suppose um it's a little bit sparse in the combat area which some people might enjoy some people might not if he was looking for a bit more action i didn't feel like there was that much action in this it was like i said it's more of a thriller there's more suspense and stuff like that story building telling and that was good but I missed a lot of the action. Um, the last fight, though, did make up for a lot of that. It is epic. Like, all of the characters get their own show. And there is fucking like, every single creature in existence, practically, on this battlefield. It is pretty bonkers. Pretty damn bonkers. Uh, but my favorite thing, really, like, I would just say Avengers... Infinity Wars, my favorite Marvel film. It was just delightful to watch the story of Thanos and his crew. I don't know what this says about me, but I really enjoyed the filling aspect of it. So whenever Thanos was on screen in this, which isn't as much as you would think. And again, it makes sense because this is really a film about the Avengers and this is like their end film. So this is supposed to tie off their stories. You can't have that much Thanos in there again because how are they going to finish off their own stories or tell their own stories and complete their epic sagas? I get it. It's more about the Avengers, this one. So if you're going into this thing, you're going to get lots of Thanos. You're not. He was still fantastic in it and I really, really enjoyed him. I just love fucking watching him decimate people and he's the characters in his crew were cool i, I like them all you got the big brute you got the two sort of like um i don't know they're more like hybrids they're very fast capable and strong but sort of like not too much one way or the other they're just very capable and devastating in their own right which they proved in the infinity war and my favorite character is more i think his name is he's like the intellectual character that's sort of like telekinetic telekinetic or something like that you can just throw objects around and he's super egotistical i just that's i think i like the uh the ego of the bad guys and stuff and thanos is so fa fantastic because he's he's always got like a mild manner to him which is not sort of like this cartoon film that we're so used to seeing in so many films especially comic book films very one faced characters like he's multi-dimensional so to speak in terms of his personality what his actual goal is so it was really cool to see that final fight. I just wish there was more Thanos in it. But then again, I can always go back and watch the Infinity War if I need to see that because that's the that's the that's the where the film sort of like finished for me. Thanos wins, game over, job done. But it's a multi-billion-pound industry, probably. You know, at least a billion. At least a billion, I would think. Probably could fit in a billion here or there. Marvel could. So, of course, the good guys have to win because they can have more movies that way. So, you couldn't possibly have it as Thanos just winning. You could, but that wouldn't happen because, obviously, there's money to be made. So, yeah. Overall, very good movie. Very good 
time allotted to a lot of the characters. I feel like even the lesser characters like Hawkeye and Scarlett Johansson, uh, they still got a fair bit of screen time and show, even though their characters might be regarded as lesser characters in comparison to four and whatnot, because they like godlike characters. <laughs> there are a lot of funny moments in this film. Four, I don't really want to say anything like what happens, but like I say, there's tie-ins and there's consequences. But you will like the four stuff the most, I would imagine. That was pretty fantastic. He's Chris Hemsworth has come a long way. Um, don't even think it's fair to say he's come a long way. I think he's actually quite naturally funny. You know, it just comes across more and more. The film, the more and more films you see, the more you sort of notice it. He's actually quite uh, charismatic, and he's got a good sense of timing with his humour and just how he presents himself to sort of pull off those humorous moments. So overall, very good. Had a great time. Uh, I'm sure you guys will as well. Let me know if you've gone and seen the film or if you plan to go and see the film and uh, have a fantastic day. That's my review. Definitely worth it. But I still still prefer Infinity War. But that could just be me preferring the feeling aspect of Thanos. That was his story. It was one. It wasn't like a multi-collaborative story, a bunch of stories that had to be tied up. It was just him achieving his goal. Beautiful. But still great. Thanks again. Take care.